and it came back COVID positive. I really fancied something like cozy. I'd yes, like a little yeah. break in the rain to just send them outside to get some fresh air. my channel i said to myself i wasn't going to say that every time i answer the videos or every time i start the videos cats are on one today it's raining outside and when it's raining outside the cats go, get, go a little bit crazy on the inside um so they're fighting a lot today which is fun i had a migraine last night and i'll explain a little bit more when little ears aren't around but i had a migraine which is caused by stress by something in my personal life which i'll share in a minute i promise but luckily it happened at bedtime so i was able to go to sleep and kind of sleep it off but it means that today my head just feels very heavy and I'm going to try and take things slow, not overdo it today because I don't want to end up with another migraine, which doesn't normally happen, but who knows? <laughs> Girls are on their calls at the moment. I'm going to get on with another day in the life video, I'm afraid, and it's definitely going to be a homey day because it's raining outside. Boom! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! Good morning! How are you? <laughs> oh, what a gloomy day today, hey? I really, really wanted to take the girlies out today just to get in the garden for like 15 minutes at their break times, but it is chucking it down with rain. So I think that's not even going to happen today. It's been so gloomy this week already, hasn't it? Just raining constantly. Uh -huh. I'd yes, like a little yeah. break in the rain to just send them outside to get some fresh air because they haven't been out since... Well, I think Elsa went out to the post office at the weekend or earlier on this week um, and that was it. Elsa says she's trying to relax herself. Um. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! Where are you off to? Uh, a walk. A walk, yeah. It's raining, isn't it? Oh, you're going Is it? to the post box. Yeah. You're going to the post box. You're going to the post box. Annoyingly, I'd actually filmed this video already, um, but realised that I hadn't pressed record. Hubby's taken Freya to the post office for a little walk. She was really reluctant to go out actually, but she's not had much exercise at all recently. So he was like, come on, get dressed, we're going out. It's really raining, it's horrible weather outside. So I don't, you know, I feel a bit bad for her. But anyway, I thought I'd come on and talk about what I was talking about earlier and the personal stuff. So a bit of background story. My mum, we believe, and me actually, had COVID back in February, 2020. It was before tests were really a thing before covid was a thing in the uk to be honest but we had all of the symptoms and ever since my mum has been really poorly with really bad breathing problems she struggles to get from like the car to my house um to the point that actually she'd been suffering like long covid for the whole of last year and it got to the point where she's pretty much just staying on the sofa most of the time because she just gets exhausted if she does too much my mum is a very vulnerable person um she has had a kidney transplant a couple of years ago and so she's immune suppressed i think that's how you say it so she's been shielding she's been at home most of the time anyway last week she sent me a video clip of her breathing and this is quite normal because she has these up and down days she one day she'd be saying yes I feel absolutely fine today and then the next day she'd say I'm, I'm just totally exhausted today I'm really struggling so I'm just gonna sit on the sofa in my pajamas and watch Netflix and that's been normal for her for the past year but she sent me this video I think it was Wednesday evening something like that of her breathing or might have been Tuesday evening and I will insert it here she's allowed me to share I've already shared it on social media last week uh, but I do want to give you a quick warning that it does sound pretty horrific just a warning if you don't want to watch that just skip a few seconds I'll write up here how many seconds to skip here we go <laughs> <laughs> so 
So as you can see, her breathing is pretty horrendous, but that's normal. However, following that day, she texted me and said, I really don't feel very well. She lives with my stepdad and my brother, so she's not on her own, but she was just so exhausted. And it, from that, she has basically spent the past six days asleep. Um, and it's so odd because me and my mum FaceTime, or my mum and I FaceTime all of the time for like hours on end. And it's just weird not to have texts from her all the time, like when I wake up and just throughout the day, especially at the moment while we're in lockdown and we're at home learning. She was even doing Zoom calls at the beginning of last week. Um, last week she went for a COVID test. I think it was last week or it might have been at the weekend, but she got her results back on Tuesday. It's now Thursday and it came back COVID positive. That shocked me because she's not really been doing anything. She's just literally the whole time she has shielded herself the past year, took the dog for a couple of walks and just not seen anybody. She's been indoors sewing and baking and cooking all of the time. Like she's not been out. So it's been quite a shock. Like I didn't ever think she would actually catch it because she's been out of everybody the most careful. But it came back positive and it's been a couple of days and I've been trying to process what's happening. I cried yesterday after she texted me, love you. And I was like, ah, because I hadn't really heard her from her at all. It's like, I'm okay or I'm awake. And I, I text back saying, how are you feeling? And she'd be like, yeah, a bit better. And then that's it for like eight hours. And that's like totally, totally, totally strange for her. I've been worried because of the kidney transplant. So you've got the worries of what's going to happen to her kidney if she's not eating properly or taking her medicines properly and staying hydrated and all of this but also the virus is deadly and we haven't told the girls the extent of how unwell my mum is um but my mum's pain threshold and stuff is very high she just gets on with stuff she went through a kidney disease and dialysis like she just gets on with things and so for her to be like asleep all day for six days it's been a worry, it's been a real shock and I just keep thinking the worst and I know I shouldn't be thinking of the worst but it is really, really scary at the moment. But yeah, that's basically, I, I, all of last weekend I was really worried because she was just unwell and I was thinking, why is she unwell? She's not been anywhere. Now we know it's that, that gives even more of a worry and I just feel like I'm in walking around in this like numb existence and then last night I had a migraine because obviously I'm worrying about everything and obviously I, d I don't want to lose my mum I'm not ready to say goodbye to her so I, I'm just like praying so hard that she just she that God heals her that she fights this she's a fighter anyway so I just I, I just hope that she has that strength in her to fight this you do start jumping to all these conclusions that I mean, next week she'll probably be fine, absolutely fine. And I just hope and pray that that is the case. But yeah, I just wanted to update everyone. She updated her Facebook a couple of days ago, um, which kind of, and I said to her, is it okay if I talk about it? And she was like, yeah, that's fine. But people need to realise how real this virus is. It's not a joke. It really isn't a joke. Um, there's so many people like going against the government and being like, it's not going to affect me and all of this. And yes, my mum is a vulnerable person. She has health issues, but she's also been very careful. So that's how deadly this thing is and how easy it is to spread. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at at the moment. And I feel like my mind is trying to prepare me for something that might not happen. Thank you for watching this really long segment of today's video. <laughs> Actually, just wanted to say, I did post on my social media about my mum and the amount of messages privately and also on, on publicly have just been so amazing. So I really, really appreciate that. It, it really means a lot to me and, and to my mum. She's seen them as well. When she's barely been awake, she said, yes, I saw the messages. Um, we have so many people praying for her and that's really important to me. So please do keep her and us in your thoughts. Even if you don't, if you're not religious, please just keep us in your thoughts. That's it for this part. I think I'm going to go and cry now because I feel the emotions. They're like waves. I'm trying my best not to cry though. It just seems so pathetic. Um, anyway, off I go. How is he? What's wrong with him? He doesn't mind it. It always seems like a thing. <laughs> he likes calm down, it. Calm down a little bit though. <laughs> I don't want to him. Aww. You don't cute. Yeah. Do they fit nicely? What have you got, are they? But they're not on beds. Christmas family!
Critters. A critters family. That's a nice name. And they actually have clothes. <laughs> Elsa gets a bit upset after school, don't you? When your lessons are all done, she gets a little bit upset. She runs off and cries in her bed. Every day you've been doing that recently. Oh, has she? Hey, yeah. Well, not every day, I don't think. Every other day or something. Every few she days. I think she just gets a bit overwhelmed, but... I think tomorrow, what we need to do, and we need to remember this, is we need to do writing first and phonics first. Because they're the ones you struggle with, aren't they? Elsa, stop using your favourite toy. That's just mine. Use your favourite toy, Bobo. <laughs> I realised that I haven't actually vlogged this afternoon very much. We watched the Gruffalo's, the Gruffalo, the Gruffalo's child, and then we went on to Zog. And then she just chilled out, to be honest, after home learning. Home learning finished at about three o'clock today. You okay? Hello. Crazy child. Um, and now I'm doing pancakes for the girls. So I'm actually doing what I call fat pancakes, which is normal American style fan pancakes. And then the thin ones, so like the crepes. I don't know if you can see. We're having that for dinner today. I really fancied something like cozy. This is the young. one I'm going to have. You're going to have that one now? Yep, it's my fat one. Watching a bit of YouTube, I watched Holly Oaks on all four and six o'clock. <laughs> it's six o'clock already, I can't believe where the time's gone. So yeah, I'm just trying to keep myself busy. Are you ready for the show? In three, two, one, the show will begin. <clears throat> three, who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> It is half past seven. The girls are having what we like to call their downtime. They've been putting on a Netflix programme on their Google Homes and they get to watch one or two episodes depending on how quickly they get into bed. Um, today it might probably be one. Yeah, I haven't heard from my mum since about one o'clock this afternoon and obviously it's now nearly eight o'clock so she's most likely asleep again which is a shame. I would like her to start having some energy and fighting this, but I suppose sleep is probably the best thing because it means her body is literally sleeping and focusing on getting her better. So it's good and bad, I suppose. I'm now, every evening at the moment with homeschool and stuff, I am using my time when the girls are having their down times to print off all of their work for the next day. I'm then going in all of their books and writing their learning objectives, all the dates for tomorrow, stuff like that, just to make sure that they don't have to bother doing it tomorrow because it does take a long time and I would rather them focus on the actual work and not the dates and things when they're with me, otherwise it gets a bit gets a bit stressful so I that's what I spend my like hour doing every evening at the moment especially this week it really, it really has been working well to do that this week thank you so much for watching this video and um, please do subscribe and follow me on social media if you want to keep more up to date because obviously these videos are going out uh twice I, I'm doing videos twice a week but I'm on social media all of the time so do head over there and I'll leave well the links are always down below for you to go and follow me so thank you so much and I'll see you again uh on on Wednesday. <laughs>